Welcome to this short overview of Cobook software. During this presentation we'll be seeing some of the features available to the user. However, for a more in-depth look at any of the features that you see here, and more, please refer to the more in-depth chapters at the beginning of this CD. Codebook is an application which sits on the desktop and allows the user to manage and manipulate room-based data. This information can be imported into Codebook from a variety of sources. In the case of healthcare projects, directly from briefing tools such as ADB, Hiltron or Healthcare Environment, or where there is only schedules of accommodation available, a direct import from an Excel spreadsheet. Once the data has been imported, Codebook will structure the information and I can see that in the Project Explorer. Here in my project I can see the phases or the buildings available to me in this particular project. I can see the departments that are available in any particular phase or building. I can see which floors those departments sit on and I can see the rooms available on those floors in those departments. In the case of the NCU department for example I can see all my rooms available. You'll notice that most of the rooms here are black. The odd one or two are red with a question mark. The ones that are black already have an existing link with a CAD drawing. If I bring up AutoCAD and look at this Registrar's Office for example, I can ask Codebook to highlight the position of that room on the drawing and Codebook will flash its position and I can also see some quick details of that particular room. For example, I can see its required area is 7 square meters and it's currently designed in the CAD drawing as 6.4 square meters. I can also use the right click menu to find rooms in the CAD drawing. For example, if I wanted to find this room but in the database, I could right click, ask Codebook to find a room using a CAD hit or pick, select the room in the drawing, tell Codebook which floor it is on, click OK and Codebook will find that room in the database this time. If we take this treatment room for example, I'll now show how Codebook can link that room to the physical place in the CAD drawing. Codebook utilizes a polyline drawing. This is a drawing representing the, the internal face of every room by a closed polyline. If I'm going to use this area here as my treatment room, I'll highlight it in Project Explorer, right click say to Codebook, add room link. This will now hand over to the CAD engine and it will say position inside room or escape to quit. As soon as I click anywhere on the drawing or I are where I want the room link code to be, that room link code will be placed in the, in the DWG and in Project Explorer the room will turn from red with a question mark to black. However, in order to update the information, i.e. the designed area, the two sets of data need to be synchronized. Codebook's tools for synchronization can be found under the pull-down menu, synchronizing CAD to database links. In the, in the case of the fourth floor here, I only want to synchronize the rooms, and I will ask Codebook now to synchronize the two sets of data. Codebook will then go through the process of opening the relevant polyline drawing, checking all the rooms in the database, to the drawing, making sure that the room link codes have been placed, that they are inside a valid and closed polyline, that there are no other room link codes inside the same polyline, and calculate the area of that polyline and force that information back to the data. Once this has been done, Codebook will write the information into a notepad file telling the user exactly what it's done during the process. This file does not need to be kept, it is merely a report of the process that Codebook has just completed. Once synchronization has been completed, Codebook will now know where this room sits at all times. If I go back to Project Explorer, and bring up the fabric drawing in my CAD engine. I can now ask Codebook to highlight where that particular room is. I can also look at the details and see that the required area is 16.5 square meters is currently designed in my CAD drawing at 26 square meters.